What if I told you I made several attempts at penning this letter? Heap of torn and crumpled sheets, ruled paper lines matching frowning foreheads creases. Margin space matching width of current creativity. Pen scratching paper, finger scratching nose, words only scratching surface. What would you say? And what if I told you that saying your name, my, Ayim, round sound of syllables generating genuine enforcement of emotional gratitude for you, Afro-German woman, healer, activist, in this Arab-German immigrant daughter's heart, born from hard want and hard work, what if I told you that your voice, amongst others, helped me grow into mine? What would you say? What if I told you that the river, same river you saw transition from natural border matching factual wall guarded by actual soldiers back into simply a river, that part of this river's banks bears your name today, what would you say? What if I told you it's the same part previously proclaimed colonial perpetrator's name to post-war, post-annexation population, part of which still properly steeped in proper denial? What would you say? What if I told you that almost 20 years down the line, our lives are still on the line in this country? Because of the lines drawn by this country and others, 130 years, 100 years, 70 years, 60 years ago. And that sometimes I wish I had a direct line to God to ask them some serious questions just about that. What would you say? What if I told you that as I pass your river's bank today, the wind whispers of things to come, carrying the screams of a group of refugees shouting from the rooftop their fight for basic human rights and dignity, facing off one and a half thousand cops who not only wave cuffs, but bananas? What would you say? What if I told you that despite appearance, this is a letter of a hope sincere that we as persons, peoples, persevere and prosper as we've always done in the face of it all. And I hope that you can hear me call the Solst in Frieden ruhen. Peace on your soul. Sincerely yours, Muna Moon. Amen.